How's it going, guys? Peep is. <laughs> not bad, man, though. Mama! 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 What? <laughs> Here. And oh my god, you guys are so quick with sub goals. It's actually insane. Okay. I'll be right back. How's it going, guys? Peep is sub goal here. And I am very grateful for 30,000 subscribers. Genuinely, super grateful for y'all. Thank you. That being said, you guys are making me eat something again, so let me check this out. Little Caesar's pizza with Nutella covered pickle slices as toppings. I swear to God, I'm gonna start blacklisting the word Nutella and pickle. I'm, I'm so done with you guys. Look at that. Oh my God. You know what? Who's laughing now? I got a whole pizza, right? I'm the one laughing now. You guys are the ones that don't have a pizza. I hate my life so much. Uh, so these aren't exactly pickles. They're gherkins, which I'm pretty sure are just tiny pickles. Oh my God. You know, you could have just left it off at Little Caesars, but no, you just had to include Nutella and pickles. So now here we are. Now the most commonly asked question I have is, do you make a lot off of YouTube? And to that I say, you know, I make enough for this to not even matter, all right? So am I getting paid to eat pickles and Nutella all the time? Yeah, I am. I right, moment of truth, guys. You know, what's funny is, and this is terrible, but I'm so used to eating pickles and Nutella all the time because of you guys, to the point where I'm just like mentally filtering it out. So it's not even that bad, according to me. That being said, I'm not eating this. You guys wanted a bite? There's your bite. All right, if I hit 31,000 subscribers by the end of this week, I will eat the most liked comment on this video. All right, we're doing this again, all right? And for God's sake, don't make me blacklist the words Nutella and pickle, because I swear to God. All right, see ya. So let's be frank here. I think we can all agree that I'm kind of happy that hype beast scene died. I don't even know what led to hype beast culture. Like, obviously, don't get me wrong. I'm not sneak dissing anyone that likes expensive clothing. Like, I have my fair share of expensive clothing too. No, no, no. The main issue with hype beast culture was that the entire thing was just circled around how expensive your things are. Like, how expensive your shoes are. How expensive your hoodie is. Of course, I bought the twenty thousand dollar Louis Vuitton Supreme hoodie. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, I don't have women in my DMs, but that, do that doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. The reason I'm bringing this up is because the past, like, year or two, there's just been a video that's just been looping in my head every day for some reason. It's just a constant reminder why this trend deserved to die, and it's this one right here. Inside my new Los Angeles apartment. This was three years ago, by the way. This wasn't in 2016, 2017. This was three years ago, 2021. Which that being said, hype beast culture should have already died by then. But first, let's get a good idea with what we're talking about today. We're talking about Blake Linder, who has been very inactive. Let's be frank here, hype beast culture died, so it's obviously no surprise that this channel would die. All he would ever upload is, billionaire spends $40,000 hype beast shopping, taking my sister on a designer shopping spree. My friend spent $6,000 on my credit card. Yeah, do you see the trend here? This is all hype beast culture is. It's just money, expensive clothing, money. I'm so rich. My clothing is so expensive. This had every right to die. This was actually like the worst trend of the 2010s. And I can't stress this enough. I don't care if you like designer clothing. I don't care if you like expensive shoes. Like I dabbled in it before. I'm a bit of a sneakerhead, I'll admit. So getting a good idea with what this dude's personality is like. Now let's see what this dude's apartment looks like. And, and I bet you're already terrified to find Find out what his apartment looks like. Yeah, let's check it out. Long time no see. It's your boy Blake back with another video, and I'm here to announce something really, really cool, something really big that's happened recently in my life. This is my new apartment tour video. You know what? Credit where it's due. Obviously, it's a big thing buying an apartment. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna shit talk him because he bought an apartment. You know what? Good for him, man. Good for him. L let's check out this apartment, though. I wanted to decorate this apartment with a high beast kind of streetwear theme, and you guys are gonna notice that throughout this video. I think it looks pretty sick. So right when you walk in, you have the babe head rug. You wash your hands. Hey, yo, yo, I, I think your cause room is supposed to be a kitchen. What is this? I don't mind the occasional cause doll, but from what I could tell, here, let's backtrack a little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different cause dolls in your kitchen, bro. I, I think this is the beginning of a little too much. This is literally the rich people equivalent of having like a, a wall full of pop figures, bro. Like you are no different than this. Yeah. I basically dropped a bag on a bunch of these cause dolls. This is the first one right here. This one goes for about $600, I believe. 
give or take. This guy right here goes for $500. These are like the open uh, ones. This one goes for $1,200. Don't know why on StockX. This one's like $450. Yeah, yeah but why? Why? <laughs> Rich people pop figures. That's literally all I see. We're going to show you guys all this in a second. This is something really cool right here. Basically, I got this big cause guy right here i'm sorry he's just been talking about these dolls for the past like minute <laughs> he just won't stop talking about them i just want to move on i'm done with these guys so now we are in the living room right when you walk in again it's very open which is what i love about this design we got both the murakami pillows right here okay now he here's a bit of a pet peeve of mine right so i've talked about this on the channel before but i love modern art like it's just like a i always thought it was interesting it was really cool now today's key word poser this dude and this was a trend with hypebeast for some reason but it is pretending to be an art enthusiast and you're going to see this right away i don't know why it was a phase to just pretend to be an art enthusiast and in my opinion it made them look so stupid in this single screenshot i can basically name everything takashi murakami i believe that's andy warhol right that's stephen harrington these are cause figures made by well, cause. And the reason I can tell he's a poser is because of this. And then I just caught some artwork from a friend. It's like a kind of like a urban type vibe, so I copped it. It's like small. I don't want too much going on in this room. But it was like six, seven hundred dollars, and it's numbered. I'm totally forgetting who it's from. Aaron Hamilton or something Hamilton. Aaron Hamilton. Aaron Hamilton. Where the. F does it say Aaron Hamilton on this? Like, you see what I mean? He just dropped $700 on something he has no idea what it is. He just bought it because it's expensive. And that's my problem with hypebeast. They just buy shit because it's expensive. Stop acting like you know anything about art when you're just doing it because it's cool and trendy. Like, this looks this looks so stupid, bro. I'm sorry. All right, I, I, I'm done, like, talking about hobbies. I just had to point that out real quick. The truth is, everything about being a hypebeast is just being a poser. Like, I, I remember hypebeast just had, like, a Metallica phase at some point. I, like, I hate to be that guy, but can you even name, like, three metallica songs like not, not that i am a metallica enthusiast like i don't mean to come off as that guy but it's like do you know anything about metallica or are you just wearing metallicas because it looks cool like on the table right here we got this cause piece check this out this I, I i'm not even gonna get into this we're moving on like i don't i don't even want to look at <laughs> if i see one more of these i'm actually gonna go insane dude it doesn't stop i got all my favorites in here we got it doesn't stop bro yeah i, I wish it stopped i'm gonna be fully honest with you split camo the BBC Mickey collab. This is my newest one. This was like 1200 bucks. And then the Foley ABC Milo camo. Then I just got this as well. The wish. And dude, I cannot stress this enough. Like, I don't mind if you have a hobby, right? I'm not gonna go after you for liking something, but it's like at the same time, you have to be like self aware with what you're doing. Like, Jesus Christ. No offense. This, this apartment is hideous. You got the nice view and everything. Like, this apartment has so much potential, but you just had to slap bare bricks and causes everywhere. I hate this apartment so much, dude. And for context, just like the cause figures, bare bricks do go for a lot. Like, in case you did not know that. So, this is the bed super comfortable closets right there which we'll try to show you guys it's kind of hard but i just have a lot of my clothing right here with these i'm so sick of this dude oh my god i'm actually so annoyed right now subtly flexing that he has a balenciaga bag that's fl that's flipping awesome bro but it's kind of hard to see yeah so this is the closet it's kind of hard to get into but all right so if you're not like a sneaker enthusiast all of these shoes are like around a thousand maybe even more than a thousand dollars he literally just included this just to flex that like i'm sorry also you know what i love about this apartment tour all right we're, we're gonna play a, we're gonna play a bit of a game here right he said earlier in the video that this apartment came pre-furnished this place came fully furnished which is great i mean with the furniture the essentials you know what i mean that is why we're gonna play a quick game here let's try to guess what part of his apartment was pre-furnished and what part of his apartment he personally decorated, right? All right, so here's exhibit A. Is this pre-furnished or did he decorate this himself? Now here's exhibit B. Did he decorate this or did the 
apartment come like this? Like, were these causes here before him? All right, here's exhibit A. Did it come like this or did he decorate it like this? And here's exhibit B. Once again, did he do this? I'm gonna give you a second to d discuss this. Yeah, I just decided to show this with you guys. This is actually like <laughs> single-handedly one of the worst things I've ever seen. I'm gonna get a nice apartment then actually at least make it look welcoming in some way, shape or form. This is actual scaring the hose material. Who knows, maybe he moved on. Maybe he grew up from this. So don't send harassment to him. Uh, I'm gonna go now, so see y'all. Boom!